Okay, Lainey, why don't you spread those out and then spray them with oil, put a little bit of salt and pepper. We're doing a very interesting and kind of modern tostada topping here. It's gonna be a smear of mashed black beans, a little bit of grilled butternut and grilled red onions, chipotle sauce, a little queso añejo, flavors that I think are just dynamite together. But maybe I didn't ever see anybody do that in any one of the street stalls in Mexico, but it's certainly delicious. So when you're working with butternut, I love butternut. It's a little, well, it's work. You gotta peel it, you gotta cut through it and all of that. So I use a knife to peel it. I don't like peeling it with a vegetable peeler because I think you have to take too much of the rind off to make this work. When I'm doing grilled butternut, I always use the neck of the butternut and not the main part, which I save for making soups and things like that where I can puree it. Because once I have my butternut neck like this, I can cut it crosswise into slabs that are easy for me to grill. grill these oil side down right over the charcoal here until they're brown and tender, about five minutes on each side. Beautiful. Now I've mashed up these black beans. Would you warm them up on the grill there while I chop up everything there? That. I think these are warm enough. Good, I got an idea. Why don't we build a tostada Great. just to make sure that we've got all the right proportions of everything. It's quality control. Yes, <laughs> here's a small, can I put these yeah, beans sure. in there for you? Great. This will help to stick the butternut and the onions. I'll follow your lead here. Chipotle salsa, a little bit of queso añejo. That's good. 